Hey, what is up my gymnast heroes? Pat Chadwick here, back again with another video. And today I've got something special in store for you, which will be a full body reg fit workout. So I'll be using this cool little machine here and it will literally help me to target all the muscle groups within my body, starting from your biceps, triceps, your shoulders, your chest, your core, your back, and your legs. So I'll be showing you all these exercises in a follow along structure workout. All you need is this red fit bar and a little bit of space and we'll be good to go. So without further ado, let's jump onto the first muscle group, which will be biceps. Okay, right, so the first exercise will be barbell bicep curls. This will predominantly target your biceps and your forearms. So to set this up, we're gonna place our feet in the straps. Stand tall with your feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, lower your arms, extend them out. And we're just gonna curl our hands towards our shoulders, keeping your elbows locked in to a fixed position. So let's do 10 reps in total, okay? Let's start. One, two, core and glutes tight, three, All right, straight away, we're gonna switch this around to place the bar on the ground and we're gonna be holding the handles. And next up, we're gonna do hammer curls, okay? Similar position stance, so we're gonna do 12 reps in total in each arm. So we grip the handles using a neutral grip and then we're just gonna curl up like this. In fact, let's do both hands at the same time for 12 reps, let's go. One, two, core tight, three, try to keep your elbows fixed in the same position, four, feel the burn, five, six, nine, ten, last two, eleven, and 12. Woo. Moving on to the next exercise, which will be squats. So we'll be giving our arms a rest. So to begin, place your feet on top of the handles. Feet just about wider than shoulders width apart. We're gonna push the bar overhead. Rest it on the upper back. Keep your chest upright, torso upright, body firm, core tight. You're gonna lower down to the squat until our thighs parallel to the ground and then extend back up. All right, so let's do 12 reps in total. Let's go. One, core tight. Two. Make sure to squeeze your glutes on your way up. Two, 11, 12, good. So next exercise will be good mornings and this will predominantly target your hamstrings, glutes and lower back. So I'm gonna show you this from the side view. Similar position starts, okay? We're gonna bend your knees slightly and we're gonna hinge our hips back, bring our lower body, our torso forward and then we're gonna raise back up. Try to keep your torso straight the entire time, okay? So lower down until your torso is parallel to the ground and then come back. All right, let's do 12 reps in total and go. Ten. Final two. Eleven. And twelve. Whew. 
Moving on to the next exercise, which will be the military press. We will now target our shoulders. So we'll be targeting our front, our side, and our rear deltoids, okay? So to do this, place your feet on the straps. Stand tall with your feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna press the bar overhead, and that'll be one rep. All right, so keep your core tight, your legs tight, and your torso firm. Let's do 10 reps. Three, two, one, and go. One. Exhale as you come up. Two. Three. Keep your core tight the entire time. All right, up next, we will do lateral raises. So we'll be targeting our middle shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna step onto the bar, feet about shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna raise the arms out to the side. All right, so let's do 10 reps in total. All right, in three, two, one, and go. Okay, up next we've got upright rows. So we're gonna switch this around now. Okay, arms down, and we're just gonna pull the bar up until it's at the upper chest level. All right, let's do 10 reps in total. Core tight and go. Awesome, so up next we'll be tucking the chest. This exercise is called the chest flies. So we're gonna stand on top of the bar, grip the handles and point our palms forward. We're gonna raise up until your wrist is at the same level as your shoulders. All right, so let's do 10 reps in total. And go. Squeeze that pace, three, core tight. Awesome, so the next exercise will be the reverse chest flies. So we'll be using the door. We're gonna undo the lid of the bar. I'm just gonna take the straps out. All right, so we've got both straps. We're gonna loosen it up a little bit. Just so that these hooks will go behind the door and it will just catch on. All right, so I'm gonna open up the door. Slide this in, make sure that the hooks is in here. And then I'll simply shut the door. And we've got this machine right here. All right, so to do the reverse chest flies, we're gonna grip onto the handles, okay? Pull it down towards our chest. Take one big step forward into a split stance position. And then we're gonna push down towards the bottom here. Really squeeze your chest and come back. And let's do 12 reps in total. One, core tight. Two. Three. Four.
Awesome, so now we're gonna move on to the triceps and the first exercise will be tricep push downs. Right, so we're gonna grip the handles and we're just gonna extend our arms like this. Try to keep your elbows fixed in a single position. All right, so let's do 12 reps in total. And go, exhale as you come down, keep your core tight. Moving on to the next exercise, which will be called the triceps extension. So we're gonna take a split stance position by taking one step forward. Keep your elbows in line with your head. And then we're just gonna extend our arms like this. All right, so let's do 12 reps in total. Exhale as you come out. Ooh. Ooh. That is painful guys. Ooh. Awesome, so now we're gonna move on to the back muscles and this exercise is called rows. So we're gonna grip onto the handles, take a few steps back. You can either use a pronated, neutral or unhand grip for this. I'm gonna use a neutral grip and then we're just gonna row by pulling our elbows back. All right, so we're gonna extend and row. Let's do 12 reps in total. So that's one, two, three. Now, if you use underhand grip, this will put more emphasis on the biceps. Four, five, six. Really retract the scapulas by pulling the shoulder blades together. Seven, eight. Awesome, so that was the first exercise for the back. Moving on to the next one, which will be the single arm lat pull down. So we're gonna go into a kneeling position with one knee on the ground, and we're gonna work on one side at a single time to really develop that unilateral strength. And what we're gonna do is just gonna pull down like this. Let's do 10 reps on each side. So that's one, core tight, two, you can even twist really focus more on the biceps. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I really feel this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. All right, let's switch sides. Make sure you have full range of motion. So pull back, come up, extend your arms. Three. Awesome, so now we're gonna move on to the final muscle group of the body, which will be the abdominals and the obliques. So this exercise is called the kneeling crunch. So we're gonna get onto our knees. Now, ideally you should put a yoga mat on the ground or put your knees on top of a pillow so that it doesn't hurt your kneecaps. But I'm fine on here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna grip onto the handles, okay? We're gonna pull the handles towards our temple and we're just gonna crunch down by really crunching our abs and come back up. 
So you want to pull until your forehead almost touches the ground or your elbows touch. You, you want to pull until your elbows touches the ground. This is a good place to stop. One. Let's do 12 reps in total. Two. As you come down. Four. All right, moving on to the final exercise, which will be the oblique twist. So this will target obviously the obliques, okay? And to do this, we're gonna grip the handles and then locate it at the center of your chest. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate to the opposite side. Keep the core tight the entire time. Two. Exhale as you twist. Inhale as you come back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right, let's switch sides. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go. One. Two. Core tight. Last one, and 12. Yes, my homie, so that was one round completed. Now I'd like you to rest for about one to two minutes and then go ahead and complete two more rounds in total so that you'll do three rounds of this full body workout. And this should take you around about 45 minutes to about an hour. So you can work out with me by restarting the video and then just follow along from there. Or you can just do it by yourself if you know the sequences in your head. Oh yeah, guys, and also I forgot to mention that I've previously made videos using the RegFit. So I've made a upper body focus workout and a lower body focus workout. I'll leave the link of those videos in the description below. Be sure to check it out. So if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and comment in down below what other videos you'd like me to make while using the RegFit bar. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching guys, check us out at gymless.org for more tutorials and please like and subscribe.